eating. Hey, we're eating our stream snacks already. Welcome, friends, to Tabletop tonight. I'm Ruel. This is my wife, Michelle. Hello. Uh, welcome to our show here on Twitch. We la, 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 we live stream games every Tuesday through Thursday at 7 p.m. Pacific. Today is Thursday. Uh, that means this is the end of the week for us. But I am going to be back uh, probably tomorrow doing uh, a stream in the morning because I've got some great games I'd love to share with y'all. Going to do a little unboxing tomorrow. I will we'll post it on social media. It's been a while since you did an unboxing. Yeah, yeah. And we've got some games that I really want to show off. So uh, please join me tomorrow. I'll have the, I'm have i going to post links um, on my socials uh, probably later tonight. So I need to, like, after we play this, we're going to clean up the studio a little bit. and Because uh, y'all don't see what's going on over here. It's just like a big mess um, down, down on the ground here. Um, we've got a great game tonight. Um, this is Back to the Future Dice Through Time from our sponsors, Robinsberger, right there. Thanks, to Rob Robinsberger, for... Um, uh, sponsoring tonight's uh, episode, and I want to shout out Amanda Panna, GB Glazer. Um, I want to say, I always want to say Nightbot, but Nightbot is always here. So <laughs> thank you, Nightbot, for all the hard work you do. Uh, hello, friends, uh, Panna Angel. So we're going to jump right into the stream snacks because we were eating stream snacks, and um, all of a sudden it was like, hey, it's time to go live. So <laughs> Michelle, what do we have today? Um, fruit jerky. Fruit jerky. I liked it. Yeah, this is super sweet. And it is sweet. It's well, this particular one is one half of an organic pineapple with coconut. Mm -hmm. And as you eat it, <laughs> this is so funny. It has like little words in there, and it says, "You are eating one half, or you just ate one half of an organic pineapple." <laughs> <laughs> so like it helps you keep track of how much you've eaten <laughs> why that place excuse me why that place in the house hi uh robin and or andrew or both uh welcome uh daryl b gaiman's in the house uh dos Equis. wow nice oh yeah uh, daryl is on uh has has an evening off i believe uh panda angel's got i'm drinking uh lychee soda made with make with waterless creamery like she's sorbet and club soda. Oh, and some Porto's banana chips. Oh, I love those banana chips. Those are plantains. The plantains. Oh, yeah. I love those. So good. And then you get the like little sauce or whatever. It's oh, oh, it's so good. Um, I'm drinking the ginger ale. Whoops, that uh, Amanda you brought over the other day. Yeah, <laughs> it was good. Ross says there's a, like too much of a kick for him. I did. No, well, I didn't. Yes, yes, you did. No, did I? I, I love that. Amanda that said that. Yeah, I don't, yeah, it wasn't me. Um, <laughs> um, I like it a lot. Um, my favorite is still going to be, as far as ginger drinks go, the Bunderberg ginger beer. But what is the difference between an ale and a beer? Yeah, is Slackfish mm -hmm. in the house? We need to ask Slackfish this question. <laughs> um, like I thought beer was just like the overarching like drink category, and then ale was like a more specific thing. Um, it was too spicy for me. Yeah, okay. See, Amanda said it was too okay. spicy for her. You need to mix it with like club soda. Yeah, I, I like the kick. Of... I think you told me that yeah. Amanda said it was That's too right. spicy. Oh, there's Slackfish. Uh, okay. for burning Slackfish. <laughs> we have a question for you. What is the difference between a beer and an ale, if any? I thought beer was like the all encompassing term and an ale was like a specific. And maybe someone else knows. Let us know. I mean, we, we don't just have to um, rely on Slackfish for information. He knows everything. <laughs> but he does know everything. <laughs> Um, I like this one a lot. Uh, this is uh, Blindheim uh, ginger ale uh, made from pure water, uh, of, of course. Um, I liked it a lot. It, it did have the bite. I felt like it was still a little too sweet for my taste. Like, I can see why you'd have to mix it with maybe some club soda to dilute the sweetness a little bit. What do you think? Yeah, but I mean, like, I like ginger beer I, and I like ginger ale. Yeah. So... Uh... I just thought it was perfect. It, it was. It was really good. Yeah. Here, so I, I ate my half. Okay. I'll eat this half in a little bit. Um, so we really, I like the, I still think Bunderberg for my money is the best ginger beer out there. Uh, oh, Slackfish got an answer here. So yeah. an ale is a way of brewing beer. Contrast would be a lager. So it is a subset. Okay. Yeah. That's what I thought. Thank you, Slackfish. Yeah. Because I know there's lagers, there's ales and so forth. Why that play? Just Andrew, uh, Robin loves playing games, but still doesn't really enjoy watching others play. Got it. No worries. Yeah, but thank you for joining us. Um, so that's our stream sex. Let us know what you are, are eating and or drinking. We're always happy to hear about it. Uh, we've got a really fun cooperative game today. So sorry, Daryl, you may turn off the stream. <laughs> Daryl is not a fan of cooperative games, but this one is fantastic. Um, I really love how Robinsberg is taking a couple of the IPs that I really enjoy. The Princess Bride, 
and Back to the Future made some really cool games uh, out What's of the that. IP? Um, the intellectual property. Oh. Yeah. So like you know like um you know, like movies or TV shows or whatever. So you have like the Star Wars IP, which I love, of course. But yeah. We have the Back to the Future trilogy IP here. Um, anyone have a favorite Back to the Future movie? Like I'm a big fan of the original. Yeah, I like the original too. Yeah. The second one I thought was okay, and even I enjoyed the third one as well. I just uh, something about that first one was just magical you know i remember seeing him it's just it, to this day i still i mean it's such a good movie it's fun and fun fact it was filmed like the mall scene was filmed in the san Gabriel valley uh that's where we're from uh here in los angeles county at i used the, to live down the street from the mall where yeah it was filmed. well it was the is it still the the puente hills mall was it called that at the back in the day yeah it okay. was as far as i know it's yeah still the puente hills mall yeah so i think at the time like when you first see Marty uh, there, it's called the Twin Pines Mall, right? That was Puente Hills Mall. Yeah. And then it's funny because by the time he comes back from the past and travels, it's called the Lone Pine Mall, because when he went back in the in time, he ran over one of the trees that were planted. Um, for that whole development, they called it Twin Pines, but he ran over that one tree, so they became he screwed around with the past and it became one pine or Lone Pine. <laughs> yeah, really, really funny detail. I love that. Um. Drinking a porter this evening, nice slackfish. Daryl Gaiman, haha, leaving now, yeah. Uh, one day, yeah, uh, Amanda's gonna get uh, Daryl to play a co-op with him one day. <laughs> good luck. Yeah, good luck. Uh, why that play the original was the best? I, I knew that why yes. that play was smart, yeah. Uh, first is the best, and sure, sure. <laughs> uh, at the risk of um, any nerd cred I may have carried, I only ever watched the three movies one time at a family vacation about 10 years ago when I shamed for having never watched them. <laughs> <laughs> now you all caught up. Yeah. <laughs> You know, I mean, I, I still, like, the first one, there's still m nerd movies that I've never seen. I, I'm i sure there's a ton of nerd movies I haven't seen. This one, I, I just, it was, like, huge. Like, when the original came out, it was a, a big deal. When did the original come out? Like, late 80s, because it was still when, um, I, I want to call him Alex B. Keaton. It's Michael J. Fox at his height as Alex B. Keaton on Family Ties. And yeah. then he, he started making movies, and this was, like, the huge hit. And he still, he was still on the show family ties but then he was doing this and some other movies as well but this was like the big breakout for michael j fox um 85 um 85 sorry. yeah that's that's right that was when i saw him madonna <laughs> and the beastie, right. boys. the beastie boys madonna back in 80 wow what's that that's such a an 80s type of year for you oh i love the 80s yeah so you saw madonna you saw the beastie boys you saw back to the future what else what else happened then uh, I don't know, a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to travel back to the future. Uh, <laughs> no, I mean, the, the latest date on here is 2015. Yeah. So everything's in the past. That's, <laughs> Michelle and I were talking about the beforehand. It was funny because the future in this game is 2015, which is now in the past, right? And I remember when this movie came out. 2015 seems so far away like that was the future right and yeah here we are in 2021 folks i don't know uh Daryl mcgaven was born in 1985 such a baby oh amanda said it <laughs> you are a baby yes um daryl is our son we have adopted him <laughs> <laughs> Some things from 85. Uh, Gorbachev becomes general secretary of the Soviet Communist Party and de facto leader. Oh, really? Wow. And then a few years later, the uh, the, the wall, wall came, came down. down. Yeah. And uh, what else happened in the 80s? I mean, we all know what happened in the 80s. The Los Angeles Lakers won five NBA championships thanks to the Showtime Lakers. Magic Johnson, <laughs> Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, James Worthy. I, I can sit here all day. The Dodgers won a championship in 1988. Uh, there was no such thing as Major League Soccer. It was like random soccer leagues, I think. What else happened in the 80s? Um, yeah. I, don't know. I, I saw some concerts. Saw some concerts. That's when tickets were cheap. I, I think. Well, that, compared to now. Yeah. Like, how, I wonder how, how much do you think you paid for that Madonna concert? Oh, $40. $40? Mm -hmm. And how, how were the seats? Well, they weren't that good. Okay. <laughs> but it was, was it the Forum? LA? No, it was at. The Irvine Amphitheater. Oh so yeah, really Irvine nice Meadows. Seat. Irvine Meadows, yeah. Yeah, uh, but, like, nice place to see a show. Any seat was good. There. Yeah, like you could sit on. I remember sitting at the lawn. Like you could sit at the very top of just the lawn at the amphitheater and look down. And yeah. you were far away, but it was only like 15, 20 bucks. I saw Metallica at the Irvine Meadows <laughs> Amphitheater. 
I, as, or as Michelle calls it, my devil music. Um, <laughs> I saw Metallica and I forgot what other band. But... Oh, look, Cristiano Ronaldo was also born in 1985. Another baby, yes. Uh, Amanda says, yes, the Hollywood Bowl lawn in the back. Yeah, have we done the, I don't know if we've done the lawn at the Hollywood Bowl. No, we, we sat on the benches. Well, I mean, I have, yeah, you know what? I have not ever sat on the lawn. Yeah. Bruno? But we saw, oh, speaking of Bruno, we saw Bruno Mars. The last show we oh. saw at Hollywood Bowl was Bruno Mars. Yeah. Who's, uh, speaking boy. of Bruno, he just showed up, folks. Um, oh, oh, Gal Gadot was so born that Wonder Woman was born then. Wow. Here's another 1985 highlight. Microsoft Corporation releases the first version of Windows. Oh, my God. <laughs> There's Bruno. Speaking of Bruno Mars and Bruno the Pug. Oh, Everyone shout out Bruno. Name, huh? Hey, good boy. He's being a good boy today. Cool. Yeah, the, um, Michelle gave him a bath yesterday. Today? Or was it today? Yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah. So our, you all can't tell, but he doesn't stink anymore. Oh, oh Bruno. Good sweet boy. Wow. The comic strip Calvin and Hobbes was published for the first time. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> and that's funny. Like, Bill Watterson, is that his name? He, like, totally just, he's like a hermit, right? He doesn't really do interviews or anything. He just sort of, like, retired and cashed in that Calvin and Hobbes money, and that was it. Good for him. Yeah. Like, I don't think he, he didn't want, like, to be, like, overly commercial or whatever. He was just sick of it or something. Um, I don't know. I'm just I'm just talking. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get to the game, shall we? Thank you again for joining us. Uh, this is Tabletop Tonight. We are sponsored by Robin's Burger. We're going to be playing Back to the Future oh, Dice oh, through time. Jimmy oh, Glazer, thank you for the Bruno emotes. Bruno, did you see Jimmy Glazer drop some Bruno emotes for you? He's like, I want some uh, ginger yeah, beer. Just, ginger ale. Like uh, ginger, 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 like ginger, ginger beer. Bruno or okay, ginger ale. Okay. Bye, Bruno. <laughs> oh. He doesn't want to go down. Bye, Bruno. Ouch. Oh, you're so bad. here's the board. Um, friends, thank you. Speaking of Rosberg, I oh, well, thank you, Amanda. I have the current game. I didn't, I don't think I, I have current game. Um, yeah, I did. I didn't do the uh, sponsor one. But hey, friends, don't forget a Discord. Uh, we have a Discord. Please join us there. We've been having some fun in Discord with... Uh, for the first time ever. Yeah, Michelle is there for the first time. We're uh, sharing pictures of our uh, fur babies and food and so forth. Uh, we have TLN, Tabletop Live Network, next week already. We have the lineup. Yeah, it's next weekend. Imagine that. Uh, we do have the lineup set. We just haven't released. We're going to release the like official graphic um, hopefully tomorrow or Monday. Um, and here's the game. These are the different years, uh, that were, um, re representing the movies, 1885, 1955, 1985, and 2015. Michelle is the pink DeLorean. I am the blue DeLorean. We are the different years, uh, different types of Martys in this game. And we need to, excuse me, return the items to their correct, um, excuse me, correct years. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be um, using dice is a dice uh, a drafting or dice um, allocation game and um, we need to return all the items to their proper locations in the proper years before we are out of time just like the license plate on the DeLorean so um, we'll just jump right into it um, Michelle would you like to go first sure okay so here is the first player marker it is the steering wheel of the DeLorean 88 miles per hour that's what gets us going Okay, so I love this player aid. Isn't the player aid great? Okay, so the first thing I do is draw and place event cards. Okay, so we'll, uh, for a two-player game, we draw three events. So there's the first one. Okay, so what do I do? I just put it where it says yep. Clock Tower? Clock Tower, 1955, which is, hey, just happens to be where I'm at. Okay. Second one. And this is a Blast from the Past in okay. 2015. Um, Sports Almanac? Yep, uh, Blast from the Past. Oh, gotcha. Yep. I thought they were just saying it's a blast from the oh. past. And the Skyway. Okay. Okay. Oh, <laughs> I guess I should look at Then we'll simultaneously roll our dice, and we're going to take turns allocating these dice. Okay, so we need to perform the actions. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so I have both of these. Nice. So I can get rid of that now, yes? Uh, you start for you have to travel to the location first. I have to travel to the location. And how do I travel? Uh, to go to the uh, any location the same year, you spend the arrow. But at any time, you can spend any die to move one single space left or right in that year. Okay. So I'm going to use these to get um, this card. 
<laughs> where it says Marty buys the sports almanac. Okay. And I'm just going to use this one for movement. Yep. So go okay. ahead and move the dollar in there. Yahoo. Okay. And and you will resolve this event. Nice job. Uh, Marty buys the sports almanac. So these are used. So Michelle has resolved this event. Good job. And from this year, you get an item. Uh, let me show it on the screen real quick. Uh, so the yeah, items. Yeah. Michelle got, uh, where's the item? There it is. You got Doc's letter. You must return it to the clock tower under construction in 1885. 1885? Yeah. So wow. the clock tower is up here. So you're going to have to eventually get up there by using uh, your movement, which is going to be the flux capacitor. Okay. So the flux capacitor, which one is that? Uh, the one with the three, the very first one in the dice. Okay. Actions. So this one. Yeah. So the Y. Yeah. Okay. So you had rolled a wrench, right? Um, you did, did I? No, I think that's what I needed, right? Uh, you needed these two here. So you're you're. Oh, done. I don't. I don't yeah. even know what I rolled. Yeah. Okay. Oh, actually, we're supposed to do this. So we take one one action each. So. Oh. Okay. You move here. That's my turn. So. Um, I have the Doc Brown and the um, lightning bolt, so I can resolve this event at the clock tower. So I would get an item from here. It is the Clara's Telescope. I need to return it to the schoolhouse in 1885. Oh, we both need to go up there. Yeah. So I've used these dice here. I am now going to use the Flux Capacitor to go to any year. Uh, spend, move to the same location any other year. So I can move up to the clock tower in 1885. And then I have the uh, move to any location your current year. This is uh, this die here. I'm going to go to the clock tower. Uh, where's clock? Oh, I am on the clock tower. Or no, schoolhouse. Okay, so I'm there. I have now returned, just like that, Claire's telescope. So we are one step closer to winning. What happens when I do that? Um, I get a Einstein token, and it's at random. Einstein is going to help us. Uh, Einstein says we may use this one at any time uh, for a lightning bolt, and we leave Einstein token there. Either one of us on our turn may use that. Oh, Thanks, that's Einstein. Nice. Yeah. And who's Clara? Uh, Clara, I believe, was Doc Brown's like love interest in 1885. Ah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Brandon Jars in the house. Thanks for joining us, it's Brandon Jars and Johnny, Johnny Deathhawk. Deathhawk. Good to see y'all. Uh, we got a Bruno trick redeemed uh, by treat. our treat redeemed by Pan Angel. Thank you for treating trick. Oh. oh, it's a treat and a treat. Oh, yes. A treat oh. from for Brandon Jar and a trick for Amanda Panda. Good boy, Bruno. <laughs> <laughs> thanks friends for uh hanging out with us tonight uh vault hey ruel michelle and chat just got home from work uh, welcome back from work vault hope you had a good day at work gator dave is in the house so my hunt for all dressed chips has come to did you find them gator dave i hope you found their chips best chips ever uh oh. i don't think they could have met oh the loft oh okay god we we hyped it up too much to for you friend <laughs> my bad okay uh, so that is the end of the round. Um, we go to the next step is at advance the oh. out of time marker. Add paradox tokens. So paradox tokens. Uh, we're gonna add them to the year that has uh, the most um, events in it. I believe. Um, let me just make sure that events uh, by the year in the year that events say out of time. So. Wait, how do we do? Oh, let me move this back. Let me get this right. Check to see which event has the most locations covered by events. That's This one has the most events right now, one. And then uh, we move the out of mark, time marker by that many, so just one. And then we add one paradox token to this year here. This is the paradox token? The yes. little clock? Yes. Where do I add it? Uh, to the location uh, that Any has the location? event. Oh, okay. Yep. Uh, now, okay, so then in future years, uh, if this year triggers the out of time, not only will we move it one, but an additional one for oh. the Paradox. Yeah. How do you get rid of Paradox tokens? Glad you asked, Ruel. Uh, what you do is resolve the event and then the Paradox Okay, token will go away. okay, so I need a little dock um, icon. I mm -hmm. need to roll that. Okay. Yep. Okay. Uh, so that is, I believe, the end of past the first player marker token. token. Uh, I will draw and place events. So we have, uh-oh, we have this event here. It's an immediate effect. What we do here, 
going to clean up this town. Immediately remove all location events at one location. You do not gain an item for this. Okay, okay so just so remove that. Where does it go? Uh, just over here in the discard pile. Okay. Nice. That's our first. Our second, the same. <laughs> Biff again steals the Delorean. That darn Biff. <laughs> Okay, and again in the Skyway. And the third, uh, Show Dog with Mad Dog Tannin, 1885 Saloon. Okay. Um, how do we move? Isn't Biff supposed to move? Is Ruel allowed to answer Ruel's own question about Paradox Token? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Doesn't that warp the space time fabric? <laughs> yeah, now mine's gonna be blown, folks. I, I have no idea. Okay, um, I don't think we moved Biff. I, I thought we did. I think he just he's triggered by something else. Yeah. All right. Um, so it's my turn. We are both gonna roll our cards. Uh, Johnny Deathhawk. Uh, why, hello and bye. Hey, have a great one. Thanks for stopping by. Johnny Deathhawk and uh, is it brother? Who, who's well, no, they're oh. saying bye to um, why. Oh, okay, why not play? play? Okay, yeah, why not play? Has to go to work. Have a great day. Okay, let's roll our dice. Okay. okay. Uh, so we'll resolve one action at a time. Um, I've already. Okay, what I want to do is. All right, I'm going to move. To any location in my year using the arrow to here now it is michelle's turn okay so i don't know there's not much that i can do yeah. spend or move any two paradox tokens from the board Ooh, maybe i'll do that nice okay so i'm spending this one yep to get rid of the paradox so i just throw it back there yep nice uh now i'm going to punch biff so I cannot resolve this event if Biff is there. I need to punch him to get him out of the way. I can, <laughs> we're going to punch Biff and send him over to the blacksmith. Okay. Okay. Um, I, I don't know what else to do. Oh, okay. So uh, remember if... Oh, so here's one thing we didn't talk about. If you have uh, Mr. Fusion at the very bottom of your player uh, sheet... <laughs> Mr. Fusion, spend any two matching dice to use as any result for solving or an effect. Okay, I want to do that then. So I'm going to use these two because they match. Mm -hmm. What are these called again? Uh, that is called the flux capacitor. Flux capacitor. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm not going to remember that. Yeah. Um, so I can resolve this one. Oh, so oh wait. You... I got to move. Yeah. To there. Okay, so I'm moving there. By spending that die. By spending this one. Yep, because you can okay. spend any die to move uh, to an adjacent okay. location. Got it. Okay. So then I'm using the flux capacitor yep. instead of these. Nice. Is that correct? What is this one? Oh, looks that. like a chicken. Oh, that's the, okay, that's the one. So that means Biff is going to go there. Anytime a card has that symbol on the right corner, that's where Biff goes. So you will not a be chicken? able to, yeah. It, <laughs> so, because Biff is a chicken. Okay, so. Uh, so you will not be able to, let, let's retcon this a little bit here, rewind. You were here, uh, you spent this one to get rid of the Paradox token. Mm -hmm. And then, because this showed up, we're supposed to put Biff there. Okay. So so now I want to punch him. Yeah, so you need to get over there first. Okay, so I use this for movement? Uh, you could use one of one, those for movement. One of these for movement. Okay. okay. Now I'm going to punch him in the face. All right, so you just punch him anywhere on this year. He's going to go over here. Back to Hilldale. Okay. Okay, so now... Um, I would need that. Correct. Okay. okay. And what is that? That's lightning? Yep. Okay, which I do not have at this point. Okay. However, oh, you know what? We're supposed to be going back and forth. Sorry. So it's my turn. Um, I'm going to use this punch here to resolve this event. So the showdown with Mad Dog uh, Tannen is done. And I get an item from this year. It is video camera. Need to return the Twin Pines Mall 1985. <laughs> <laughs> and it's back to Michelle. Um, now you have the flux capacitor, but you need a lightning bolt, correct? Yes. Don't forget our friend Einstein is helping us out. He left a lightning bolt token up so there. So I can take that? Yep. You just uh, take it and discard it. Okay. So I'm taking that and just put it uh, right face up uh, on another panel. Okay. Yep. Over there. Thanks, Einstein. So that means this has been resolved. Biff still the DeLorean. But we got it back. Darn you, Biff. And now you get an item from 2015. 
Okay, a stove door returned to saloon 1885. Okay. Oh, both of these need to go to 1885. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, and then I have a Doc Brown uh, spent and removed. We have removed all the Paradox tokens, so basically this is not going to be used. Okay. Spend it. Okay, so I, this is of no point to me. Yep. I know. And that's no the end of the round. Yeah. So, oh, John Deathhawk and uh, Brain Hunt Jar played in Ecos. Nice. Solid AEG uh, game. Agreed. Really like that game. So Gator Dave says if present day Ruel Michelle could go back, um, it moved. Where'd it go? <laughs> go back in time and tell their teenage self something, what would it be? Oh, great question. What would it be? I have to get back to you on that. I don't know. Yeah. Like, how do we mess up the space time continuum <laughs> if we like meet each other or not, not meet if we like reconnect earlier? It would be interesting. Oh, yeah. All yeah. right. Of course, I would tell Teenage Ruel like the exact year that the Lakers would win a championship again and say, bet your life savings on it. <laughs> <laughs> sort of like Marty was going to do in the future. Um, My let... life was pretty sweet as a teenager. <laughs> That's right. Huh. Okay. Huh. Besides buy Apple stock. <laughs> right. Yeah. Apple stock. Or hey, there's this company called Amazon you might want to look at. Um, okay. So let's move on to the cleanup for this round. Uh, we are going to advance the out of time marker. We look at the most events and uh, there is none. If more than one is still, if the year was most open. Okay. Um, if two years tied for the most locations, use okay. So all of these are tied for the most uh, locations. There are none. So we're going to look at it for eighteen eighty five. Uh, so just going to move one. There are no paradox tokens. We don't do extra. Uh, now we're going to add a paradox token. Uh, so a paradox token to the year eighteen eighty five, please. Where do I put it? Anywhere? Uh, just anywhere. Yeah. Okay. I would assume it's supposed to be on a uh, like an event, but there are no events, so we're just going to pick that one. Actually, well, why don't we throw it on Biff? That'll make it go. Okay. And then, <clears throat> and then this goes back to Michelle. First player token. Okay. And now um, draw and place event cards. Mm -hmm. oh, I can't reach. Okay. First one. Ah. Um, Enchantment Under the Sea Dance at Hill Valley High School in 1955. The Enchantment Under the Sea. Okay. And Biff is already there. You need to punch him. Yep. Uh, oh, I forgot. We have to draw so. more. Old Man Peabody is visited by a spaceman. Peabody <laughs> Farm, 1955. All right. And the third one. <clears throat> Griff tries to recruit Marty Jr. Cafe 80s in 2015. All right. I got to show the art for this. I love this. So this is the uh, Chapman <laughs> of the Sea Dance when uh, Marty McFly, play, he rocks out with that guitar solo. He's like, oh, you're... And everyone's just like quiet. Yeah. Like, guess you guys aren't ready for that one, but, <laughs> but your kids are going to love it. I <laughs> love that scene. Okay. okay. So now we roll dice. Yep. <laughs> Gator Dave, this is your cousin Marvin. Marvin Barry. <laughs> Remember that new sound you're looking for? He puts the photo. <laughs> okay, Michelle, you will be first. Okay. So, okay, I don't have Doc. Oh, I can punch him. So I can do that. But then I would need to move, which I, and I can use this. Got the flux capacitor? I do have a flux capacitor, but I also have the arrow. So the flux capacitor lets you move from year to year. So straight to any location. Oh, I forgot I need to be up there. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I need to do that first. Yep. Okay, so I'm going to use this one mm -hmm. and move up to Peabody Farm. Mm -hmm. Okay, I don't have Doc. Oh, let me uh, take my turn. Oh, well, it's like one one turn. Oh, for, yeah. I know it's all good. I, I do the same thing. Okay. So you're gonna take care of this one, right? Or are you gonna take care of that one? Um. Well, I don't have Doc, so I cannot resolve that one. Got it. But I can resolve that one. Okay. Because I've got I've got fist. Okay. So I want to try to do this thing, um, but I can't do it. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do. Uh, no, I can't because uh, you're going to be over here by that time. What There's this thing called Rippling Dice, and this is sort of cool. I, I like this part of the game. So on any uh, part of your turn, you can take a die and leave it here. 
And then if the other Marty happens to be in the same location a different year, they can use that die to resolve something. So I was hoping to get over here so I could ripple this die. You could do this one now. But you would right. have to be there, yeah. Oh, I have to be yeah, there? Yeah, it's a oh. way to share with the other Martys in the time space-time continuum. But, okay. Yeah. Oh, and you don't have a movement of I don't. thingy, one of these. Yeah. Uh, what I can do, though, I can go... Oh! Well, well, James is here. Hi, James. Hey, James. Thanks for joining us. Um, do you have... Hmm, let me see that rippling die effect. Uh, I'm going to Hmm. And you can only ripple in the future. You can't ripple going backwards. Um. Okay. So I want to. Oh gosh, I, I don't. I can use these two dice to make it a flux capacitor and go down here. Yeah. You know what? I'm gonna do that. This is a flux capacitor. I'm going all the way up to Cafe Eighties, and that's my turn. Okay. So now I am gonna move over there to Hill Valley High. Yep. So I'm gonna use my flux capacitor for that. So. Oh. Actually, it was, yeah, go ahead and do that. It was actually the arrow goes left and right, then the flux capacitor goes up. Oh, down, okay, yeah. so. It's like that. Okay. Cool. So now I'm, oh, just kidding. No, you're, 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 okay. <laughs> uh, so there is no Biff. Uh, thank you, Biff, for not being here. I need a um, Doc Brown. I have a Doc Brown. I have resolved this event. So uh, Griff tries to recruit Marty Jr. No good, Griff. Um, I'm going to get a vent. Hey, there's no more events here. So we have cleared 20 or uh, items here. So we cleared 2015. We just need to clear these other years. So at what point do these go up there? Um, so you just you need to return them to the correct location. So I can only do that when my car is there. Yeah. Is that... So where what do you have to go? I have Doc's letter that needs to go in the clock tower at eight in 1885. So okay. it needs to go there. Okay. And then a stove door, same year in the saloon. Okay. So right here. Yep. Okay. Okay, so now I can punch Biff, though. Yeah, you know what? Now I'm looking, uh, maybe we want to retcon it, because you can only hold two items. You don't draw a third item if you complete an event. So rather than coming here, why don't you maybe use the flux capacitor to go up here, right? You were here, go up here, and then use the arrow to go here, and then drop off one of those okay, items. Okay, that sounds good. Yeah. Okay. Well, we're going to retcon that, folks. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. so that was here. Hey, it happens all the time, right, in space, uh, time travel. Yeah, I'm just going to be on <laughs> okay, so I, I actually moved up here then. Yep. Okay, and now I'm going to move to the clock tower. Okay. And I'm returning Doc's letter. All right. And you've returned Doc's letter. Nice job. You get an Einstein token placed on the board. Okay. So we get movement. All right. right? Cool, cool. Yep. And then um, now it is back to my turn. I have this symbol here um i'm just going to pass okay so i can't use either of these right oh actually sorry um let me back up my turn so i can use uh this is um you can use any die to go one left or one right so i'm going to use this to go one left okay okay so then i'm going to use this one to move okay it doesn't matter right correct okay so I'm going to move to the saloon. Nice. Um, to return the stove door. All right. And this is in 1885. Um, and, uh, oh, Einstein, that's it. And that goes up here, too? Yep. Another, oh. never problem. Cool. More movement. All right. Uh, that is the end. Uh, oh, wait, you, have, you do have one more die if you would like to use it for, like, a final left or right movement. Um, you know, I think I'm going to use it for this okay. movement just so yep. I can get closer to Biff and punch him in the face. Very nice. All right. Um, you like punching Biff in the face. <laughs> what was the other game we were playing? We were just playing something where you punched punch you. Me. Yeah. I punched you in the face. Yeah, it oh, was. Oh, the robot one. Yeah, robot um, quest arena. <laughs> <laughs> Michelle likes punching me in the face, apparently. Um, okay, it's the end of the round, so we go to advancing out of time marker. Uh, we look at the year that has most events. It is this one. So, um, I always forget how to do this, and I, I should have this committed to memory. My bad. Um, so, we look at advanced out of time, check the locations, advanced marker by numbers. So, there are two 
1955, so we go two, <laughs> one, two. And, you know, I totally forgot. We have returned items. We're supposed to move the marker back. Yep. So we've returned three items. We're supposed to move back three spaces. One, two, three. So we got plen plenty of time, friends. Um, now we're going to add Paradox tokens. Um, all locations covered by events the year of the event. So this advanced, so we put a Paradox token here and over there. Okay. Slackfish says, RQ, I just funded. I know because they sent me an email since I backed it on the strength of your playthrough. Oh, nice, Slackfish. Yeah, we we really enjoyed it. Hi, Garlic SCR. Uh, R, uh, RQA is, as Slackfish said, Robot Quest Arena. Thanks for joining us, Garlic. And Daryl B. Gaiman gives, just gave out a gift sub. Thank you, Daryl B. Gaiman gave it out to... I don't know who that is. Blackberry Bear? Blackberry Bear. Okay. Um, you know what? It is a gift. So Ooh. here we go. Uh, we have an alert. Thanks okay. to our friend Daryl B. Gaming 2 for the <laughs> gift subscription. Thank you, Daryl. Much appreciate the support, my friend. And it is a gift. So whenever we give out gifts, we do... Gift, 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 gift. Thank you, Daryl. Much appreciated, brother. Um, enjoy the gift sub. Is it to Black Bear? Blackberry Bear. Blackberry Bear. Thanks, Daryl. Enjoy Blackberry Bear. I feel like Benny the Bits Bear should have done that. Oh yeah. <laughs> ben, well, you know, Benny the Bits Bear may have make an appearance later, folks. Um, so we have done that. Added the paradox tokens. Pass the first player token. And again, we're going up to eighty-eight, folks. Here we are. Let's roll those dice. <laughs> Oh, sorry. We're supposed to do the event first. Three events. Uh, Marty skateboards to school. Classic opening scene in 1985. Marty's house. Biff is there. Okay. Ooh, I could punch him. <laughs> <laughs> Marty and Jennifer take a walk at the clock tower. Oh. <laughs> Another 1985. Twin, Twin Pines Mall. Doc introduces the DeLorean time machine to Marty. Oh, there's so many. Yeah. And oh, Slackfish has shared 100 bits. All right. So we know who's coming out of hibernation. It's it. me, Benny the Bits Bear. Thank you for spending bits. Friends, you spend bits. I come out of hibernation. Daryl, thanks for spending a gift sub for our my friend, Blackberry Bear. Us bears got to stick together. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Bruno's not phased by this anymore. <laughs> I know. Bruno's like, ah, eh, Benny, whatever. <laughs> Uh, so I will start this turn. Um, I need to... I'm this one, right? Yeah. Um, oh, I need to return the video camera to Twin Pines Mall. Where's Twin Pines Mall? Okay, so I need to get there. Oh, man. How can I get there? Oh. Okay. What do I need? I need a fist and a dock but i need to get theirs um do you have an extra fist or block i can use i have a fist okay then i could use on your turn could you drop do you have an can you drop off a um fist up there and so i can ripple it to um get there yeah so i would have to move from here so i could use this yeah to move here drop off my fist yeah Okay. Is that yeah. cool? Okay, thanks. I'm going to use two of these to... Oh, actually, no. You know what? I may not... Let's see if I don't... I may not need help. I'm going to use Einstein's token uh, for the arrow, so I'm going to move this way. Okay? So I'm going to be able to move up one space by doing this die, and then I'll be able to... I have the icons I need, so I'll be able okay. to complete this. Okay, so I want to move down here okay so i can punch him in the face shall okay, punch so i'm gonna use that to punch him but i need to move down yep. so i need the flux capacitor yep. right or uh oh yeah any two matching well i can spend any two matching die to move to an adjacent oh yeah location in the same year oh, okay i don't want to do that yeah so you'd have to spend yeah two dice to make it into a flux capacitor okay so that's fine yep right that's the mr fusion the mr fusion action. correct okay nice. So I'm going to do that. So I'm using these two matching dice okay. to go make... here. Yeah. All right. Okay. Uh, and then my turn, I'm going to use um, these two 
Wait, what did I do first? I did, I used Einstein's token to go right, and then I'm going to use these two as a flux capacitor to go here. Um, and then it's Michelle's turn. Okay, so now I'm going to punch him in the face. Okay. Boom. Where would you like to move Biff? Um, let's move him right in the middle. Okay, yeah. clock tower. Okay, and then I'm going to resolve this event here. I've got a punch and a Doc Brown. Do, 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 do. We resolve that, so I get an item here. So this one's been resolved then, right? Um, you need to, oh, you punched Biff, but you need another fist to actually oh, do Oh, I thought that was one in the same. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, okay, so I can't do anything with this then, right? Correct. Spend to reroll any unspent dice. <laughs> this is the unspent dice. Yeah. You just have to wait so for it doesn't count for this one, huh? All right. That's right. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, I'm going to return the video camera at Twin Pines Mall. So that has been returned, and whenever you return item, you get some time back. Um, Slackfish right. says, I feel like we have learned a lot about Michelle this week with regards to punching people. <laughs> <laughs> Don't <laughs> uh, Could you reveal a... That's why, that's why everyone has a beard. <laughs> <laughs> uh, could you reveal a, an Einstein token, please? Yes. <laughs> Does it matter like what um, nah. order that's in? Nope. I want to make sure we're doing that right. It's one Einstein token. Yep. And then each time you return an item. Yep. Ooh, the ginger ale felt like it, like the bubbles went up my nose. Oh, no. <laughs> it kind of burned a little bit. Okay. <laughs> um, uh, I'm all out of dice, I believe. You've okay, and dice. I just, well, I have this one and I can't do anything with it. Yep. Okay, so. Okay. That round's done. That is round's done. We advance the out of time marker by looking at the year with the most events. These both have two, but the earlier year will take precedence. Uh, so we move it to one, two. Uh, we add paradox tokens to all locations in that year advancing that advance out of time, but these already have them, so we don't do anything. Yay! And we pass the first player marker. Okay. All right. Cool, so cool, now cool. we need three new events. Yep. Yes. Yes. Marty Jumper, take a walk again. So. This is interesting. Now there's two events. We have to resolve them all at once. So you're going to need Ooh. two lightning bolts and a Doc Brown. And this is where the rippling dice uh, thing will help. Um, hopefully we can like help each other out there. Next, the blacksmith shop in 1885. Doc realized, readies the DeLorean for rail travel. <laughs> uh, oh, something wrong with the starter players roll one less die this round oh, oh boo earns that's not cool yeah all right here we go oh, <laughs> i did not get what i was hoping for yeah don't forget we do have those tokens there um what do you need a fist yeah i don't oh. have any matching things okay um, I've got a fist that I can ripple over here. All I need to do is uh, use that arrow to go here. Okay. So for now, if you could, um, do you have a Doc Brown? I do not. No. Okay. Um, this is the only thing that would be helpful. Yeah. Or the only thing I have that would be helpful. Yeah. But. Yeah, you want to do that? Try to re-roll your other dice? Um, yeah. Okay. And just in case, I've got your back. Okay, okay so I've got... Oh, well, now... Well, well can I use this? No, it's no, been okay, used. that's yeah. been used. Okay, uh, so I'm going to do this. Uh, could you spend the Einstein token for movement? This one? Yep. Thank you. So I'm going to move here, and um, I believe it is a free action where I can just drop this and rip... Now you can use that die. It's, a, it's the ripple effect. It's going... Oh, wait, no, I can't. We the cannot go... go... Yeah, it's only to the future... So go ahead and put that one back, the Einstein token. Which one was it, this one? Yeah. Oh, yeah. The ripple only goes to the future, folks. Don't want to mess up the space-time continuum. I feel like they're, I can't do anything. Yeah, you might have to just go try a different event or something. Well, oh, even yeah, with that, because with, with this, there's nothing else in my column. Yeah. And then... Oh, we do have a, a flux capacitor from Einstein, so you can go up and down a year. If you go here, could you get over here and you do that, maybe? 
can I use the other Einstein token? Because that one, that's what it yes. requires here. Yes. Okay, so I'm going to use the flex capacitor to move up here to 1885. Yep. And then um, I'm going uh -oh. to use this iron. Oh, just kidding. Yeah, but at least you have your plan. No, you have it planned out. What I'm going to do I'm then. I'm going to forget by the time you're <laughs> Uh, no, you're going to have to punch Biff, and that's what I'm going to... Oh, he can't go back, though, if I try to ripple that die to you. You're going to... Because you have to punch Biff, because he's there blocking it. Oh. Yeah. I can't even punch him. I know. Stupid I Biff. Punching in the face. I can't do anything. Yeah. And you can't punch him. Oh. Oh. Yeah. yeah you're down here, so you have to go up there. Yep. Well, maybe you should use the flex capacitor to go up that way. And punch him. Yeah, what do you think? Yeah, we'll see. So then you're going to go up here, and then all I have is this. The lightning spend to reroll any unspent dice for your choice. Yeah. So, oh, yeah. I don't know. I, I'm not of much help this round. What about if um, I go up here using that flux capacitor? You... Oh, yeah. Yeah. Biff is in the board. You, you were here at first, right? Yeah. And then you used um, the flex capacitor to go up here. Yes. Maybe you should go down here, I guess. Can I do anything there? Uh, I still need to... Oh, well, I need two punches there. So I have one. I could go in this here and punch him. Yeah. Oh, wow. This is sort of tough. Yeah. Okay. And this... We have to resolve all of this. Yeah. Right? Yeah, you're right. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. So why don't we do this? <laughs> um, I can go up here. What do we need? Uh, Doc Brown. Mm -hmm. Gosh, this is tricky. This is, this is a tricky part of the puzzle, folks. Darn it. You know what this reminds me of? Huh. Those little plastic toys you get in like party bags <laughs> where it's got the little squares and you yeah. have to move the little puzzle pieces <laughs> to get like the numbers in order or yep, whatever. Totally. Okay. Um, tell you what, I'm going to go. Um, I need to, okay. The tell you what, why don't I return this item so we can get closer to winning? I need to go blast from the past, which is right here. So I'm going to. Use the flux capacitor to go to this here. Okay. I think Bruno wants to go out. Okay, bye Bruno. You don't have any items to return either, huh? No, I'm responsible. Yeah. You turned me things you, right away. You did. Uh, you want to just uh, get over here, maybe, um, uh, to this year, and just sort of like hang out. <laughs> that way, you're yeah, so chill in the Yeah. <laughs> and the Thompson Twins in yeah. an OMD. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, um, so did you? You already did your move. I did. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. Th there's not really much I can do. Yep. Okay, so I'm going to use the flex capacitor mm -hmm. to move down here. Okay. Uh, I am going to use this fist to move one to the left, and I've returned uh, Sports Almanac to the Blast from the Past. Uh, so I'll return an item, we gain time, and then I um, get an Einstein token. So hopefully this will help you. Nope. Okay, so... Uh, okay, I can't do anything with yeah. with the lightning. The lightning, yeah. Uh, if you you can move, you can use it to move right if you'd like. Just set yourself up for next turn. I'm just hope and pray I get a, a yeah. Fist so I can punch. Well, I'm gonna need two. Yeah. Okay. Well, um, my yeah that this really hampered us. This whole yeah. only three dice. So yeah, that's just part of the game, you know. Um, things like that happen. You know, something's something wrong with the starter. You gotta hit your head against the steering wheel like Marty did. <laughs> um, I'm going to use, I have this. I'm going to use this as a flux capacitor. I'm going to move to um, 1885. Okay. And then now we do uh, the cleanup here. 
What has the most events? So 1985 has three. Okay, so we're going to move it three. One, oh. two, three. And we're going to add three paradox tokens, uh, only two, one here and one here. Okay. But we had three from previous, so one, two, three. Oh, no, it's not in this year, though, right? Right. Okay. So does okay. it move more? Uh, no, only if it's the year that moves it and it has paradox, you add it additional. So if it would have been 1955, we would have moved it one, two extra spaces. But it wasn't, so we're okay. Good. Okay, uh, back to me, and we get to roll, or uh, let's see the events first. Lightning strikes the clock tower at 10.04 in 1955. Clock tower. Beep, beep. Uh, next event. There's going to be a lot of punch in here. Yeah, Michelle's favorite. Uh-oh, out of gas. Arrow icons only move you one space this round. Mm. Boo, Ernst. Okay. I'll leave this here well, as a reminder. I guess it's good I moved here. Yep. And this item... Or this event, Marty buys a sports, sports almanac, uh, blast from the past here. Okay, so remember for this round, arrow icons do not go all the way across. Ooh. All the Brunos. Thanks for all the Brunos, James. Okay. <laughs> okay, so. Boo earns no punching, huh? No. But if I spend these two, I can punch. Is mm -hmm. that correct? Yes. But I still need another um, another punch. fist. And you can make the fist by turning those two Einstein tokens since they're the same. That turns it into uh, a fist. A fist. Okay, so that's the Mister Fusion. Mister Fusion. Action. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay, but you go first, right? Oh yeah. I'm trying to see. Maybe I should go. Oh, I've got a punch um, Biff as well. Okay, I'm going to use this arrow and one of those arrows from Einstein to make a fist, which punches um, Biff. I'll put, put him over in train bridge. Okay. So I am going to... What am I going to do? Ooh, I see. Why don't I do this, Biff? If you go over here, you need two lightning bolts and a dock. Mm -hmm. You have one lightning bolt. I have one lightning bolt. I am in the past. I can drop off the lightning bolt here so you can use that with your lightning bolt. And then you use two arrows as the... Like, as the dock? Dock, yeah. Okay, that sounds good. Okay. Okay, so... What uh, am I using to move then? Of any die to move. So just the flux capacitor to move. Okay, so over, yeah. this to move here... Okay, uh, then I will spend, um... oh wait, shoot, sorry. No, you're, you're I've, got to, I've got to use this for that, sorry. Go Can ahead, go re back? Yeah, rewind <laughs> that. Okay. So I'm, I'm going to be using a lightning bolt to resolve this thing. This, I'm okay. going to use this and that. Ah, okay, so even if... I, well, so you're going to use that yeah. Einstein token. Yeah. Okay, so. Oh. I'll be able to, I'll still be able to help you out. Go ahead and do that. Because I have, a, I have a wrench. The wrench can be anything. It's wild. So go ahead and, uh, like you did before, just burn the flux to move here. Okay, so this is the flux. Okay, so I'm moving here. Yep. Um, I'm going to burn a flux to move here and I believe it's a free action where I can drop a die there to ripple so now it's your turn okay so I am going to use this okay so that wrench is anything then. yep it's a wild okay so this is going to count as like another wild. Yep. Okay. Sweet. Nice. So how do I get that? Down so this here? is whoop, boom. And then it just goes okay. back to me. Okay. So nice. there, everything's been taken care of. Woohoo. So do these little clocks stay yep. on here? Nope. That goes away. You have really? Them. Oh, yeah. Fuckers. Okay. Oh, and then um, we, whoops. You get an item. 
Okay. And we'll move this back one. Mind reading helmet. <laughs> Return to Brown Mansion, 1955. Oh, there's four events there. Oh, it goes in your items. Oh, just yeah, kidding. So you're going to have to return it. And we get an Einstein token since we solved an event. Good job. Okay. So. Uh, back to me. I totally forgot to do. What? Um, no, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to use this as a movement. You're out of dice, right? Yes. Okay, and then I'm going to use this die with this face to solve the blacksmith. So this moves back one. And I draw an item. Hey, the makeshift skateboard, 1955. Got to bring it back to the clock tower in 55. Okay. Okay. So I have to bring this to the mansion. Okay. In okay. 1885? 1955. Okay. Uh, end of the round. Now we do the um, cleanup phase. This has the most. So one, two, three. One, two, three. Plus one, two paradox tokens. One, two. Uh oh. Might be out of time soon. Michelle and I have to return this one. And then we have three to go, folks. Um, move this. Okay. Oh, add paradise, uh, paradox tokens. It was this one. So one paradox token here, please. Thank you. Okay. And events. events. Uh oh. George and Lorraine kiss. Remove all paradox oh. tokens from the board. All oh. right. Smoochy, you smoochy. Are <laughs> George and Lorraine kiss. Nice job. Okay. And then second event. The McFly family has rehydrated pizza in 2015 at Hilldale. Yeah. Oh. Classic scene. Marty skateboards to school. Marty's house in 1985. Oh, and Biff moves there. He's already there. And we oh. roll dice. I've got two Brock Doc Browns and two um things. Did we get an Einstein token for um Return in an item. We returned one item this round, didn't we? I didn't. Did I? Oh, no. We just resolved the fence. Okay. okay. Uh, you're up. Okay. Oh, we don't have any Einstein tokens. Yeah. Okay. So, spend to use as any one icon. Okay. So, these are wild. Mm -hmm. Right? Okay. And then spend to reroll any unspent dice of your choice mm -hmm. with these. Okay. So, oh, and we have to do both of these icons, right? Yeah, if you can. So I got to punch him. Mm -hmm. I have to get, well, I have one of these. I have a wrench, and then I got to punch him again. Yeah, and the wrench is wild, remember. Oh, okay. So I just have, oh, so I'm going to use this for movement. Mm -hmm. I should clarify, right. the, the wrench is, you can spend to use as any one icon on an event. So you can't just use it to like move and stuff, but uh, during the icon, you can use the icons to the wrench to for any icon on the event. Okay, but this I'm moving. I'm using to move, right? Yeah, you can always just move. Uh, use any one die to move left or right. Oh, okay. So I'm gonna have to use both. Yep. Okay, so moving there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I have the wrench, mm -hmm. and then I'm using this to punch. Yep. Oh, but I have to punch him again. Oh, that's right. Darn it, Biff. Okay. Well, do you, you don't have any punches. I do not. Hmm. Um. Yeah. What do you want to do? <laughs> Let's see. What can you do? Why don't you go ahead and retcon there? Okay. Hmm. Well, I move. Maybe go up to the clock tower? Well, I still I don't have anything that will help you, right? You're here, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I have I have a Doc Brown I can ripple to you. Okay, so I can use um yeah. my lightning to move up. Yeah, you use those two lightnings to become flex capacitor to move up. Okay. I will use a um 
flux capacitor as any die, just one single to move left, and I will drop this Doc Brown there for you to ripple. Okay, so that just comes rippling down. <laughs> rippling through time. But first, you have to punch Biff. Get him out oh, I got to punch him. Okay, yeah. so um, I'm going to use one of these to mm -hmm. punch him. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to punch him. Um, I'm going to punch him here. Toulouse Cafe. Okay. And then now, um, okay. oh, actually, it's my turn. So I need to get to where you're at, but I do not want to go. You don't want the same Marty in the same space, because if you go, it's going to mess with the uh, space-time continuum. And what happens if two Martys, if you encounter your other self, um, we have to move the out-of-time marker twice. Oh, we don't want to do that. Yeah, so I need to sort of like, just sort of hang out for a bit. Um, so, oh, you use this one, right, already? Or you're going to use that one. Yeah. Uh, what I'm going to do is, oh, man. Um, do I take a chance? Do we take the chance? I say we do because once I once you return it you're gonna re, or I'm gonna return an item we're gonna get um a free move back so it's only gonna cost us one I think okay yeah you know what we're gonna risk it I'm gonna go down one by using the flex capacitor uh, we are in the same spot so it's gonna be move two okay and then you can do your thing so now I'm gonna use this this is gonna ripple down here yep right Nice. Okay, so now, um, get rid of that event card. Mm -hmm. And get an item. Who's the final item of the game? Marty Skateboard, 1985. Okay. Um, we are, uh, it's my turn. I'm right here. I can return the makeshift skateboard because it's 1955, the clock tower. So we're that much closer to win. Because I return it, we move this one back and we get an Einstein token. Okay. Hopefully that'll help. Um, I have a wrench. Ooh. So I can't do anything with it right now, though, right? Yeah. It's a, that's a bummer. I mean, you could set yourself up to get... Oh, wait. You could use that wrench. To move here? Where, where do you need to return items? Um, Right here to the Brown Mansion. <laughs> and then to Marty's house, which is here. Okay. Okay. So I can use this to move, right? How about this? Why don't you use that um, lightning bolt as just a movement to the uh, brown mansion? Okay. So now I am... Okay, yeah. So that lightning bolt. Yep. And then you may return your item. Okay. Yes. So the mind reading helmet has been returned. Nice. And we move this back one and another Einstein token comes out. Flux capacitor, which is nice, nice, nice. You're going to be able to do this bit. Um, I'm going to move with my final die uh, to um, this cafe. And I think we have the win right here, babe. Okay, so with this flux capacitor, uh -huh. right, I'm going to move down here to Blast from the Past. And I'm oh, going... sorry. Um, that item right there, where do you need to go? That's what I was thinking about doing. Marty's house. Yeah, if you can get there, the game is over. We've won. What? Yeah, because the object is return all the items. Oh, yeah. okay. And that's the final item on board. Oh, yeah. okay, so if I just move here. Yep, with that flux capacitor that you just used. Okay. I'm out of dice, so it's back to you. Okay, so I have the wrench, and that can be used as any icon. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to use the arrow. So I am here. At oh, my... yeah, I talked too soon. So you're doing the right <laughs> thing. But stupid Biff is there blocking. Oh, so I still got to punch him. Yeah. Oh. So okay. next turn. Okay. Okay. Good. So at punch least him. we're set up. And hey, we got a raid coming in. Perfect timing. We're about to win the game, hopefully. <laughs> uh, thanks to the Brothers Murph for the raid. Welcome, friends. Uh, my name is Ruel. This is my wife, Michelle. Welcome. This is Tabletop Tonight. We play games Tuesday, Tuesday Wednesday, Thursday at 7 p.m. Pacific. Thank you for joining us. Nick and Mike, I saw you are playing Sierra West tonight. I hope you did well. Um, let us know how that went. I uh, see uh, AB Troops in the house. Clyde, three man. Uh, Almost Haven. Uh, Slackfish has been here. To live and dice in LA. Hello. To live and dice in LA. Hornus, hello. Slivers, hello. Uh, Visitor, thanks for uh, hanging out. Visitor, enjoying your summer, Michelle? Or are you doing summer school? 
Vision's our friend over here in the Inland Empire, by the way. I am actually, I'm just facilitating, so it's not really, I'm like setting up the classes and, you know, if they need help, I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Dragon Bear, 1982. Game Freak Girl, hi. Uh, thank you for being a friend. <laughs> uh the big uh the big mick is in the house thanks big mick uh much love to our family who plays games much love to all of y'all thank you for joining us today <laughs> um ab true says nick did well mike not so much have uh, you told momo the um the puzzle that we know we yeah i think she saw it on instagram or on uh, facebook yeah <laughs> Momo, we we have a um a golden girls puzzle that we're gonna start next uh bruno trick oh hornus has redeemed a bruno trick thank you hornus uh, for redeeming the Bruno trick. Folks, if you spend Bruno points, Bruno will do stuff for you, like a trick. All right. Thanks. And hey, Slackfish is also gifted five <gasps> subs. Thanks, Slackfish. Um, if you're new to the channel, we do analog alerts here. And uh, we have an alert. We have five new gift subs, thanks to our friend and supporter and friend, uh, Slackfish. Thank you, Slackfish. For all your support, friend, and because they're gifts, we say gift, 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 gift. Thanks for the gift, Slackfish. Friends, enjoy those gift subs. Thank you for hanging out with us. Game Freak Girls actually what? So maybe she did it. Yeah, we got a Golden Girls puzzle. Might have to go in the other room and get it. Yes, and Vault Hunger Hunter Argus reminds us to hydrate. Friends, why don't you all hydrate with us, please? The bubbles have been going up my nose with this ginger ale. Don't want to do that. Uh, we're playing um, Back to the Future, Dice Through Time from our sponsors, Robin's Burger. Uh, we're just about at the end of the game here. We're super close to winning. So hopefully, we're going to bring in the win. I'm not sure. I mean, it's it's getting close. We have a double raid happening. Thank you, DFoob, for raiding. Thanks to DFoob, Colorfly. Much love. Hey, that's our pug, our, uh, Bruno. Hey, Bruno, say hi to our friends, the Raiders. Aww. Welcome to all the Raiders. And... This is actually the perfect timing. Game Freak Girl has spent 100 bits. Friends, you spent 100 bits. I come out of hibernation. I am Benny the Bits Bear. Thank you for joining us tonight on Tabletop Tonight. Bruno likes to bite me. Hello, Bruno. Oh, bye, Bruno. <laughs> Thanks for spending the bits. So uh, I'm we... over it. <laughs> <laughs> he is over it. Thanks for spending the channel points. We got a couple of treats coming to Bruno. Thank you, Slackfish. Thank you, Weird Nit. Thank you, AB True. Whoa. Big Mick said it's hot in Nebraska, around 105 today. Yeah, we hydrated. Oh. You know, same. Wow. It was 100. Well, it was 103. And I know, today. Mick, y'all got that humidity going. We're fortunate. We don't have humidity here. Like, I mean, it's it's a dry heat, but it's still terrible. Um, hope everyone's hanging out there, uh, hanging in there. Harness, yes. But 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 Benny and the bits. Bruno is, uh, oh, Swing Flyer's. Twinflower, thanks, Twinflower. She spent some bits as well, so we can do the Benny and the Bits song. Ba 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 Benny and the Bits, 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 bits. Everybody, dun 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 dun. dun. <laughs> thanks for spending the bits, friends. Uh, Raiders of the Lost Bruno Bark and <laughs> Ice Ruckus. Uh, luckily, we got the dry heat. That 105 must have felt even hotter. Yeah, I can't even imagine. 75 in Seattle. Jealous. Wow. Jealous. Super jealous. Thanks, and uh, 9717 for joining us. Thank you, friends. If this is your first time here, we love to play board games. That's that's what we're all about. We also love to eat snacks. So let us know what you're eating and or drinking while watching streams. This is our stream snack. Uh, we usually <laughs> start the streams like that, but y'all are joining us right now. Let us know. Um, want to let... Um, uh, uh, deep poop. We just got another bag of the all dressed chips. It's I'm totally obsessed. Probably not a good thing, but I'm I'm eating them slowly at this time. So uh, we're gonna get back to the <laughs> game here. Uh, we are uh, finishing up the round. So Michelle is right here. She has one item to return. Um, it is Marty's skateboard to his house in 1985. But we need to do some cleanup first. Uh, we look at the events. The ones with the most again are gonna be 1955. Uh, so two spaces, and then we will add paradox tokens. Okay, to both. Uh, yes. So Michelle, okay. um, punch Biff. need to punch Biff and then return um, a wrench and a um, fist. So um, this goes to me. Hopefully, we're gonna win right here, friends. You're you're in here for the first uh, best part of the game. Good night, Hornets. Have a great day. I think this is the first time I rolled a dock. 
Okay, so I have a wrench and a fist. Woohoo! Okay. Um, movement, too. Oh, okay. I don't need movement. Do you just need a fist, right? No, I have it. Uh, oh, I need two fists. Two fists. One okay. to punch Biff. Okay. Okay. Uh, for my, I'm first. I'm going to make these two arrows into a fist, and I'm going to drop it right there. Drop okay. it like it's hot for the, <laughs> to ripple through time. Uh, okay. So I am going to use this one to punch him. Okay. Punch, okay, punch. So he's going to go over here to the Twin Pines Mall. All right. Okay, I'm going to take this one mm -hmm. to do that card. Yep. And I'm going to spend my wrench. Um, yep. Right here. I guess I can give that to you. You have resolved the event. And, um, I mean, I'm just, like, doing stuff. Boom, boom, or boom, boom, whatever. Okay, so Marty's skateboard has been returned. All right. And that is the game. We have returned to all eight items, friends. We are victorious. GG. Good We're game. We're responsible. We're responsible time travelers. We've gotten all the items back to where they belong in the space-time continuum. Uh, thank you, friends, for joining us. Anne was eating a kind bar. Chocolate with peanut butter filling and crushed peanut on top. Ooh. You know, I think that's the one that I... Yeah. Well, no, you know what? I went to Aldi today, and... <laughs> They had mini kind bars that were, mm. you know, in boxes and, you know, for sale. And I couldn't decide between that one and the dark chocolate one. Mm -hmm. But last minute, yeah, I was sitting there going, ah, and the line was moving. I was like, I'm just going to take the dark chocolate. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I like those kind bars. Um, let's see. We have uh, someone's playing tag, I think. Um, I saw the food same tag. Uh, Cypher seems like you could lose here, too, though. Yeah, it was... It was close because, I mean, we were like really close. The idle time mark was only three spots away. We could have easily <laughs> lost. Um, just real quick, going back to the game. If Michelle doesn't um, return the item here, uh, this goes off. So one, it would have been one, two, three, four, and that would have been out of time. So, yeah, the, we, were, we were right on the edge. Good job, Michelle. But we saved time. We did save time. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> um, now, we, we played where we had to return two items from each year. That's the easy mode. That's um, just the uh, two items. You can play with three, which is standard, four, which is hard from each one, and five, which is just insane level. That would be all the item cards. Um, let's see. So, yeah, thanks again for joining us, folks. Uh, GG Solo gave me that. I just got here and wanted to see more of it. Could you start all over? Yeah, let's start over. Okay. <laughs> we'll just rewind it. <laughs> rewind. <laughs> it will be available on VOD, but good to see you on here, uh, Solo Game. <laughs> Ruckus says, spoiler from the future, it's Friday night and getting hot. And now, good night, folks. Good night, Ruckus. <laughs> yeah, it's so hot. Oh, I hope you're doing uh, all right out there, buddy. Uh, thanks for the lurk, um, Game Freak Girl. Uh, we're going to find someone else to raid, too. Uh, D Food, I had heard you were it. Oh, y'all are playing tag. I love y'all playing tag here. Uh, all the GGs, good games. <laughs> Uh, presumably more cards longer game too. Exactly. Yep. Travel back in time to the start of the game. That's it. Vault. Well, yeah. Just rewind. Uh, we got a new follower, CJ Smith, 1541. Thank you for the follow. We do analog alerts here. This is Felicia the Follow Fish. She swims around whenever we have a new follower, and then she says hello and takes off, swims away. And all of us here, and all of us, you in chat, there in chat, we say, Bye, Hi, Felicia. Felicia. Thanks for the follow, CJ Smith, 1541. Thanks for all the bye. Felicia's friends. Um, we are going to call it a night. We're going to find someone to raid, but I will be back tomorrow, probably 9 a.m. ish um, specific here. I've got some new games I'd like to uh, unbox with y'all and just, you know, we'll just hang out, maybe do a crossword or two, and um, it's going to be super oh, chill. Always fun. I love doing the crosswords online. Yeah. What are you doing tomorrow morning? Are, are you uh, busy in the morning? Um, well, it's kind of on my own time tomorrow, but okay. I'm just setting up the um, summer school classes for oh, the kids. And actually, I'm looking at the board. I've got some stuff that I got to do, too. So maybe I'll be here 9 a.m., 10 a.m. or so, just for like an hour, unbox some games and hang out with y'all a little bit. Um, Slackers, ooh, I have the day off. Maybe I can actually join. Hey, that'd be great, Slackers. Why don't we, um, ooh, that's cool. Slackers got the day off. Maybe we can do something, Slackers. Um, you can come out to play. Yeah. Well, let's let's hang out. Maybe we can play a game. Uh, let me check my. So I'm looking at the board here. I do have some stuff I got to do, um, but I, I'm you know I'm gonna whisper you, Slackfish, or message you on here, and we'll we'll figure something out. But friends, that's it for tonight. Thank you again for joining us. We are here Tuesday through Thursday, 7 p.m. Pacific. Always playing games. Always enjoying your company, friends. And um, let's find someone to rate. Um, hey, oh no, you know I am going to the dentist. 
Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Black Fisher is going to the dentist too. <laughs> Michelle got a dentist appointment. Mine's next week. Okay, that's so funny. Slackfish knows all. Uh, <laughs> Thank Blackfish. He always got my back. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Who did we? Let me. Uh, who should we raid, folks? I want to raid someone new if we can. I always love spreading the love to like new streamers or, you know. Let me see. Who? Uh, Rowan with Rock. Um, you know we haven't raided Eclectic Cam in a while. Um, uh, there's Borg. You know we raided Borg Gate Spam more recently than Eclectic Camel. So it's Eclectic Camel's turn. Uh, let us raid our friend David, and I believe he's there with his fiance. Uh, Jennifer tonight. Oh, that's right. They're getting married. Yeah. Later this year. Right? Yeah. So let's let's raid David and uh, his fiance uh, Jennifer. Let's show a little love and tell them congratulations. Um, let me see. Eclectic camel. See there. Mm, it's not showing up yet. There he is. Okay. Uh, thanks for the streamer. Uh, thank you, Brandon Jar. Always nice uh, to have you in here, friend. Um, we are going to raid. Stick around for the raid, Michelle. Any final words before we get out of here? The bubbles went up my nose. The bubbles went up her nose. Very <laughs> magic words for the night. Have a great night, everybody. We'll see y'all later. Bye, we'll see y'all. Um, stick around for the raid. Bye, everybody. Ban those raid emotes, everybody. Slackfish is now following. Welcome. Oh, where is that raid camel? Where is the party camel? The party camel, my friends, is right hey, here. Slivers. This is uh, <laughs> this is Camilla. She is our party camel. Uh, she always hangs out with us when we play games, and we always have a great time while we're here. Uh, and she thanks everybody uh, for following and for the raid. So, yeah, if you aren't already 